Uh, hi, everyone. I'd like to first thank for the invitation uh, of the committee, and I'm very honored to be here to share my work today. And I'm Shai Jiang, and I'm an associate professor from the National Genomic Data Center of the China National Center for Bioinformation in Beijing. And today I'd like to share the cell taxonomy, which is a curated repository of subtypes with multifaceted characterization. Single cell sequencing technologies have emerged as a very powerful tool to delineate cellular diversity, tree cell lineages, and characterize tumor microenvironment in complex tissues and species. And, and, and recently, a large number of previously uncharacterized novel cell populations have been novelly identified. For example, in 2019, the LAMP3 uh, positive dendritic cell was novelly identified as a new subtype of the mature dendritic cell, and it has the potential to migrate to the hepatic lymph node, and it can interact with multiple lymphocytes and promote uh, the anti-tumor responses. And in single-cell data analysis, one of the major challenges is to accurately classify cell types under a variety of conditions. And here, uh, the current algorithms can be classified into three major groups, the cell marker-based and the uh, correlation-based and the supervised, uh, supervised classification-based algorithm. And the cell marker-based algorithm uh, relies on a reference list of cell types and cell markers. And the other two types of algorithms relies on reference of expression level, expression profiles. And in order to utilize, better utilize the bulk RNA data, uh, in, um, especially for those data with a lot of clinical data, such as TCGA, we can infer the cell type composition uh, from the bulk RNA data. And these algorithms require a cell based reference, either of a list of cell marker or single cell sing uh, expression profiles. Therefore, a reference cellular annotation is very important for us to, to accurate uh, lay and annotate cell types and understand the cellular diversity in various conditions and tissues. And for now, there are several resources that have provided valuable repositories describing cell types and cell markers. For example, cell ontology constructs a very widely used resource for hierarchical relationships for about 2,600 cell types. And it has been reported that up to 95% of the cell types in cell taxonomy are unseen in the large data sets. It means that most of the cell types we don't have available expression profiles to use. And also most of the cell types are not associated with available cell macro genes in, uh, in cell ontology. And cell macro database is a very good supp supplement to the cell ontology because it beca uh, provides an accurate resource of cell markers. For example, by curating over 100,000 published papers, it curates about uh, 50,000 cell markers for 1,000 cell types for human tissues and also thousands of cell markers for cell types in mouse tissues. However, there are no single cell expression profiles for uh, cell markers for now. And the panel database is a web server that enables us to explore the uh, single cell analytic data in both mouse and human tissues. And for now, it covers more than 4 million cells and about 100 cell types and 6,000 markers. And we can see uh, all of this work has provided uh, very, very valuable resources for us to annotating, uh, annotating cell types. But we can see that all of them has its a little limitation. So we can make further improvement in the following aspects. First, we can construct a comprehensive and standardized ontologies for cell types, including the known ones and the novel identified cell types. And secondly, we can um, provide the multiple evidence-based assessment for cell markers, for it is important for users to select high-quality cell markers as a reference to annotate cell types. And third, uh, we can provide the quality evaluation of cell clusters in available single-cell analytic datasets, since the expression, uh, expression profiles is another valuable and important reference for us to annotate cell types. 
And、uh, last but not the least, we can characterize cell types in more aspects, such as the cell type composition in tissues and cellular similarity. So, based on、uh, these issues and these improvements, we want to make and we construct the cell taxonomy. And based on the manual curation of 1,500 literatures, as well as integration of 15 relevant resources and the 3.0 million cells of the RNA-seq pro RNA uh, pro single RNA-seq profiles, we construct cell taxonomy. And for now, it houses a comprehensive collection of 3,143 cell types and 26,000 associated cell markers、uh, in hundreds of conditions, tissues across. 34 species, and、uh, to be mentioned、uh, in the condition part, we use the valuable ontology of the disease ontology, and we we were very honored to contribute contribute one citation to the 1,800 citations. <laughs> Thanks for this great ontology. Okay, so first,、uh, cell ontology we build a standardized ontology for three thousand and one hundred forty-three cell types based on the cell topology tree in the cell ontology, and up to nine eighty-two、uh, percent of the cell types are annotated with available cell cell markers, and each cell type in cell taxonomy is assigned with a unique taxonomy ID and associated with abundance of relevant information based on curation model. Importantly, about 400 cell types that are previously uncharacterized in other databases are novelly incorporated into the expanded cell topology tree of cell ontology, thus expanding it by about 15 percent. For example, the previous mentioned the LAMP3 dendritic cell, which is novelly identified cell types, it is a subtype subtype of the dendritic cell. So we put it here as a subclass of the DC cell and give it a unique and novel cell taxonomy ID. And、uh, among the three thousand cell types in cell taxonomy, we find that the stem cells, cancer stem cells, and the endothelial cells top the ranking of the publications for the cell types. For example, for the endothelial cells, it is, they are associated with about one thousand four hundred cell markers. And to be noted, no,、uh, normally in general, we when we annotate cell types, we typ we typically use only one or two cell markers instead of one thousand mark cell markers, right? So it is um it is important for us to narrow down from one thousand cell markers to one or two important and robust high quality markers. So next,、uh, cell taxonomy provides multiple multiple assessment for cell markers for users to pick the high quality cell marker. And in specific, we provide a quality assessment metrics based on multiple evidence from the supported literatures and expression、uh, enrichment and cross species conservation. And high confidence cell markers are prioritized based on these metrics. And for example, as for the human endothelial cells, among uh 1,400 cell markers reported by publications, PCAM1, this gene is prioritized as the most robust cell marker in、uh, in cell taxonomy. And you can see it has high level of supported publications and、uh, expression enrichment and high score of conservation. And an aspect of the publication, and we can see that PCAP1 is reported in 100 and nine publications as a cell marker for endothelial cells, and it is specifically associated with this cell type relative to other cell types. In the aspect of the expression enrichment of this gene, we can see that among the, all the available samples for these endothelial cells, PCAM1 is more highly expressed in endothelial cells other to other cell types in about、uh, 774% samples, and also it has the high median level of fold change and high level of cell specific specificity. 
And also based on the comparison across species, the Oslog genes of PCAM1 in mouse, uh, rat, and chicken, and also reported as uh, cell markers for endothelial cells. And in cell taxonomy, a total of 2,000 human cell markers are conserved across various species and covering about nine, uh, 900 cell types. So in summary, from the uh, assessments from the publications part and uh, uh, expression enrichment and also the cross-species conservation, we can see that PCAM1 is uh, one of the most robust cell marker for human endothelial cells. And also since the expression profile was, is another important reference for us to, to annotate cell types, we provide the quality evaluation of cell clusters in available single RNA-6 datasets to help users to choose the high quality datasets to do the further study. And in specific, uh, we provide uh, five indexes, including the silhouette coefficient and the joke purity score and their average estimates over all clusters as well as the cell member. For example, uh, as for the mouse and oscillian cells, there are three samples, there are three, uh, six, uh, single and six samples that have high index for the endothelial cell clusters. For example, for this uh, sample uh, color in yellow, and the endothelial cell uh, clusters are of high silhouette coefficient and rogue, uh, rogue purity score. It means that uh, it is considerably apart from other cell clusters, and this cluster is compact and is of high purity. And also in the T3 map, we can see that this uh, in this sample, the endothelial cell clusters is truly apart from other cell clusters, and it is compact and of high purity. And last but not the least, we uh, char characterize cell types in more specs, such as uh, as a cell type composition in tissues and cellular similarity. And in cell taxonomy, you can see the distribution of each cell type in multiple tissues. For example, for, for the endothelial cells, you can see it is distributed in tens of tissues in both human and mouse. And for the lymphocytes, it is very specific only in the lung tissue in both human and mouse. And also, a uh, cell taxonomy is capable to estimate the, the cellular similarity based on the cell markers. For example, in human liver, the central memory CD4 positive T cells are very similar with the central memory CD, CD8 positive cells in terms of their marker component. And this indicates that they, have, they may have very similar function. So in order to utilize the, the users to to get uh, access of this all data, we uh, provide an online portal and organizes all the content in the following specs, the cell markers, cell types, cell markers, species, tissues, conditions, uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and single cell RNA studies. For example, in the module of the cell type, it we summarizes all the cell marker assessment, cell cluster evaluation, and cell characterization. So from this panel, you can see uh, which cell marker is most robust and which RNA-seq RNA data set is uh, of high quality. And uh, in the module of cell markers, uh, it, uh, you can see that which cell types is most likely re re relevant for these genes. And we find that the single cell RNA-seq data, uh, data sets, the module is useful for a lot of researchers because it can help you to search for the data sets of certain cell types and tissues in both human and mouse. And also in this module, you can explore the expression profiles for both cell types and cell markers in specific one single cell RNA-seq study. And also, we provide two useful tools. And one of the, one of that is a cell type comparator. It can help you to compare the cell marker composition between two cell types. And by this tool, you can get uh, which cell markers is more specific um, to this cell type, and that can distinguish uh, distinguish the two cell types. And another useful tool is a cell type predictor, and it can help you to predict the cell types based on uh, a gene list. So if you are getting a set of genes that are differentially expressed in a, an unknown cell cluster, so you can put these genes, gene list in the tool and it can return you and tells you that which cell type is more relevant, is more likely represents this unknown cell, cell cluster. 
So in summary, cell taxonomy has established a, a well-structured ontology for about 3,143 cell types and uh, 26,000 social aid cell markers in, in hundreds of conditions and tissues and across 30, 34 species. And also cell taxonomy features multifaceted characterization for cell types and markers, uh, including the quality assessment of cell markers and cell clusters and cross-species comparison and cell composition of tissues, as well as the cellular similarity based on its markers. And we really hope that cell taxonomy can be a useful resource for, for researchers in the single cell studies. And finally, I'd like to uh, uh, thank for the great team. Thanks for the Xin Hongqian and Tong Tong Zhu and other very helpful teams for their unique contributions. And I'd like to thank the guidance of Professor Zhang Zhang and Professor Xin Fa Xiao. And uh, uh, we really hope this is a great tool for you guys. And thanks for listening. I'll take any question. Thank you very much, Shai. Very nice work and comprehensive. Um, is there any question? Uh, thank you for the great talk. Um, do you have a way to access your database via command line so you could out automate it and make, make it easier to query multiple um, potential cell types or marker genes? Yeah, we, uh, we have provide all the markers uh, and cell types in uh, one table and in the, in, the download, uh, in the download page. Yeah, you can get all the cell markers and its related publications and you can do as, uh, anything you want. <laughs> Uh, thanks for the great talk. So we have in house some kind of a small tool, a bit to do to do like that. And what uh, one barrier that we have is uh, the number of hierarchical cell types that we can put in, like the sub cell types. So you have uh, on cell ontology very uh, uh, common cell type, and then as soon as you do your atlas, you go uh, to very 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 specific cell types. So what kind of hierarchy you have inside your tools, like in terms of uh, profound, uh, the, the number of hierarchy, as soon as you go from uh, regulatory T cells, then you have the one expressing this gene, the one expressing this other gene. So you need really a profound uh, hierarchical architecture for this kind of tool. So what kind of uh, architecture you have? Uh, sorry, do you mean that uh when curating cell markers and uh, you... Uh, no, no, no. I mean in terms of cell types. Like you you look, you show us the cell ontology and, and your uh, the markers uh, 2.0 uh, ontology. But you need like curated, very curated and uh, um, type of uh, cell types. And you need also the structure in terms of hierarchy. And did you work a lot on that or not? We'll discuss later. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Any other question? Uh, thank you very much for the great talk. Um, I was wondering, did you somehow validate that your marker genes are specific, ex especially for diseased tissues, let's say? For example, in, in cancer, it can be that the cancer cells are originating from a very specific cell type, but then express different markers kind of in their um, development kind of. So did you validate that, for example, for cancer cells, the markers still are valid to identify the cell types there or? <laughs> so do you mean how do we uh, validate the quality of cell markers or? Yeah, in general and especially for diseased tissues. That we... For diseased tissues, okay, okay. Uh, for disease tissues, it's, it's all the same protocol, and we all uh, evaluate these cell markers and from three aspects. And uh, for the disease, for the dis uh, cell types in the disease, and we can we, we will check the publication that reported in this disease and how many publications are, uh, are supporting the cell markers. And we also find the uh, expression profiles uh, in disease 
in disease tissues and to see that if uh, that if the cell marker is specifically expressed or highly expressed in these disease tissues and it is uh, all uh, we need we need to focus uh, on this cell marker if, in this disease if you uh, if we are studying this disease and we use the um, data sets in the disease and we check the publication for this disease right okay thank you Hi, uh, very great uh, tool, <laughs> because this is one of the uh, most difficult part, uh, especially I work with ovarian cancer, so it's really difficult to find a reliable uh, reference to um, try to uh, estimate the type of cells that you have. But I have a question. Uh, since uh, for example, uh, we saw that there are different types, for example, of fibroblast, cancer-associated fibroblast that maybe have some markers in common but differ from other ones. Uh, is the tool able to distinguish between this kind of cluster of different cell types inside the cell type? I mean, I don't know if I explain myself. For example, you are able to divide different cancer-associated fibroblasts in different functions that they could have inside the tumor. And uh, mm, I don't know if you have kind of specified this type of thing, because I saw that there is a possibility to search for this type of cell type inside the ovarian cancer, for example, but inside <laughs> the fibroblast of a viral cancer, is there the possibility to distinguish between different peculiarity? Yeah, yeah, I understand your question. And then you mean that uh, the same cell type may function differently in different conditions and can we discrete? Um, I, I can see that currently uh, if the if we curate the cell type and the publication says uh, um, classify that uh, the subtype of this cell type, for example, the cancer-associated fibroblast. If uh, if this publication curates it, says uh, it's a type one cancer-associated fibroblast, and we will put it in the database, and we will classify uh, the type one from the type two. If uh, if there are publications reporting it, we can we, uh, we can we can differentiate. Them. But but maybe we don't have the available RNA-seq data for validate it, and we even don't can have the species cross species data for validating it. So um, for this case, if the publication has reported the two different cases, so we can we can uh, display the difference only um, from the split supported publications, but maybe we cannot validate from the others other specs. But you can see from this only one, one evidence, it can distinguish them. Okay. Any other question? I have a very quick, quick question. Uh, do you have sustainability plans for the repository? Sustainability plans? Uh, How to keep it going? Like versioning plans or oh updates you mean yeah after yeah yeah we we plan to update uh, this this has been published in two hundred and twenty two and we plan to update it this year and incorporated more more data uh, including the publications and the RNC samples uh, single cell RNC samples and maybe more um, omics such as a toxic data like that. So you plan also to track the versions of your repository and the versions of the ontologies that you are using and so on. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much again. Thank you so much. <laughs>